With healthcare costs in Canada reaching well over $100 billion each year, you can just imagine the money spent worldwide. Combine an aging population and you can see why medical devices are considered a high growth industry. It's a combination of things. Uh, our aging population is certainly um, uh, a, a driving factor in a lot of these issues and it can be everything from uh, critical illnesses to sports injuries. Uh, a lot of the aging population is going to have uh, many problems with things like arthritis and uh, bad joints because of some of the things that we've uh, engaged in. There are, are growing opportunities for things like that. Um, the elderly population huge significant, um, I hate to say opportunity, um, but it's a, a significant issue that we're going to have to deal with. Alex Sachinuski runs Propeller Works Incorporated, a research design and development company that assists inventors in bringing a new product to market. Typically I'll come into a company and they, they will have uh, the various research equipment set out on a bench and they'll say this is what we want in a commercial device. So. I'll go through a typical design process, ask them um, how big, how small, what are the costs, um, what are the regulatory implications, um, are there any regulatory issues that we need to address, and uh, typically we'll start sketching up some concepts, doing some design work, um, and working with, uh, with the clients. Um, we'll go as far as start, starting to build uh, physical uh, prototypes reviewing the physical prototypes and going on as far as they want to go, um, see whether we want to go to manufacture. A medical device can be as simple as a bandage or bedpan or as advanced as a pacemaker or laser surgery. If it takes about 10 years to bring a pharmaceutical to market, what are the timelines for a new medical device? Well, medical devices are very interesting because you can actually get something to manufacture in anywhere from about six weeks to three or four months. However, because we have to deal with uh, Health Canada and um, uh, the FDA in the States and various regulatory things, there are things such as clinical trials depending on the classification of a device. Um, so what you try to do is concurrently address those sorts of issues to speed it up. Some of those issues uh, can take several years actually, uh, depending on the complexity of a device. But if it's a very simple, non-invasive device, um, you can have something on the market probably in several months. Many great ideas start around the dinner table, or even drawn on a napkin. But to bring a new product to international markets, it takes a team of experts. Fortunately, York Region is full of businesses who specialize in this field. There's a lot of expertise in, in this entire area, Southern Ontario, York Region, uh, everything from engineering to manufacturing. Um, uh, there's a lot of manufacturing that has gone offshore, but that typically tends to be very high volume stuff. So when there are limited production numbers, there are some excellent prototypers, fabricators, manufacturers in Southern Ontario, and they have been incredibly helpful in producing all the prototypes, uh, taking things to manufacture. One reason our region is strong in the medical device community is the Health Technology Exchange, a provincially funded organization which assists companies entering into the medical device industry. I think uh, the issue is one of uh, making investments, not just putting money to something, but investing the money in some significant and meaningful ways. And the important aspect from uh, our point of view is to ensure that people are aware of all of the resources that are available to them in this field. It may be issues of funding, it may be issues relating to tax breaks, it may be connectivity with different components in the chain from an inventions to commercialization like intellectual property protection, uh, the issues of understanding regulatory rules and regulations and the various bodies that are responsible for them in different jurisdictions. It may be finding a distributor for the particular product, it may be issues of, uh, relating to export. So it's really giving Ontario advantage and looking at the ways in which we can increase the tax base and the employment opportunities. The big question for an aspiring entrepreneur is how difficult it is to get started in this field. Or there are people who will come by literally with a napkin sketch and say, I've got this idea, uh, it's come out of some other research completely unrelated to the medical field, but here's a potential application. Um, and we can put together groups of people that will explore that idea and 
um, create either a small business plan or a small prototyping plan and see is it a viable idea. Um, we'll look at the population needs, is, is there actually a need for it, um, and we'll look at some of the cost implications, create um, an engineering plan, a business plan, take the first prototype, reevaluate it, and we'll see. For more information on the medical device industry, please contact the Health Technology Exchange. Big Fish Video Productions.